Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of a get ready with me, but mostly a review on some Glossier products. I've never tried anything from Glossier. This package just came in the mail, so I'm going to test out these products while I do my makeup. So let's just get right into the video. So this is the Glossier box. It just comes with some Glossier tape, but I can already tell it's like pink inside. Oh, that's so cute. It says, have a nice day. I think this is the cutest packaging I've ever seen. It comes with a sheet of stickers. Those are so cute. And a little card. I'm definitely using these stickers. I was just working on a journal over there, so these are perfect. Of course, the classic bag that everybody has. I actually love this bag. Normally when you see people with it, it kind of looks cheap, which would make sense because you do get it free with your purchase. But it's actually a nice bag. Like there's layers over the bubble wrap inside. I got the Wouter. This is the box. It's so cute. I love all the little details of this brand. The little smiley faces in the inside of the box. So I got the powder and brush duo. So even the brush has its own bag. There's just so many details. So cute. Oh, this is my free sample. Their perfume. I got their perfume because Margot Lee was talking about how it smells so good. So I wanted to see how it smelled. Oh my god. This smells really good. I understand what she was talking about now. Definitely keeping this. I love the color of the box. And I love the box in general. I got the birthday balm. Love the packaging. I really wanted the birthday flavor. Plus it's a little shimmery. Oh my god, that tastes like a box of cake mix. Oh. This is going to be my new favorite thing. I love all lip balms anyways. Oh, this is the boy brow. Forgot about this. This is like their number one seller. I got it in the shade brown. Wait, no, I got it in the shade blonde. Even though I'm not really blonde, it just goes well with my eyebrows because it doesn't look as harsh. So I'm excited to try that. Pretty much I've realized that blonde eyebrow products look a lot better on me than brown eyebrow products just because I feel like brown eyebrow products just don't suit me very well. It ends up being too harsh and it kind of looks weird. It makes it so much more obvious that there's something on my eyebrows. So that is why I went for a blonde shade. And then, of course, the cloud paint. I love the packaging on this one. Like I love how it looks like acrylic paint. I ended up deciding to get the shade Beam. And I'm actually really happy with this decision. It's kind of like a coral color. And that's what I normally pick for blushes. Even though, also, the color Dusk was really pretty. So that is everything. I got from Glossier and I just love this bag. So now let's get started on the makeup. But before I start, I got some tea even though it is extremely hot outside. I am drinking calm chamomile. I haven't had chamomile tea in a while. Okay, for my face base, I'm not really going to be using the products that I got. So I'm starting with the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty because this is my favorite moisturizer. And also, I'm keeping the makeup pretty light. So for like actual makeup on my face, I'm probably just going to do concealer. But then this is the First Aid Beauty Detox Eye Roller. And I love this before concealer because it makes my concealer look so much better. I'm going to put a little of the Too Faced Hangover Primer just to protect my face even more. I'm used to dealing with a lot of acne and I like to prep my skin to keep like my makeup separate from my skin so I always have a good protecting layer. For concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I think this is a really natural concealer but also covers what needs to be covered. Too short, arms and to blend 
blend out my concealer, I'm using the Morphe Y12. For some reason, I like this for concealer. I really want to get Laura Lee's brush set for Morphe, but it's also $54, and I'm not looking to spend $54, considering I just got all these Glossier products. But I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Okay, and then to set my face, I'm obviously going to be using the Wouter. Oh my god, I can't even get it open. Why is this so hard to open? What am I doing wrong? Don't put moisturizer on before opening this. A few moments later. I'm going to ask for help. Right, when I turned off the camera, it opened. Honestly, I'm so glad I got the brush. I already love this. I'm just going to keep it in here. Next, I'm going to put on the boy brow. Hopefully this shade works. Ooh, the consistency is so cool. Dang. Your brow hairs go right where you want them. I am glad I got a brown, I mean blonde, because when I'm using like my gimme brow and stuff from Benefit, it kind of just gets messy. No shade to Benefit though. I actually love a lot of their products. Even the gimme brow, I was just using this to compare to give you guys a reference. This, it doesn't get as messy, but also like that's... I feel like that's part because of the shade. So I'm, I'm actually really glad I got a lighter shade. Dang, I highly recommend the boy brow. I kind of just suspected it to be like the gimme brow from Benefit, but it is completely different. And so if you're considering it, definitely do it. I never thought I would actually get this, even though I always thought it was so cute. The cloud paint, just because I don't use any cream blush or anything. I don't even use blush every day or whenever I do makeup. I may have put too much. Like, this is already a lot because I've heard it's pigmented. This is a really pretty color, though. Oh, I'm so nervous. What do I do with all this? The good thing it's not clinging to any patches on my skin. I mean, also my skin is pretty smooth right now, like for my skin. I kind of put it a little too much right here, so I might have to go back with a little concealer or something. It's really pretty. Honestly though, if you have like acne right here, I don't know if I would get it. I do have acne right there, but also my skin has been clearing up a lot. I mean, of course you could still get it. So right now, this is how it looks on top of like acne and acne scarring with like very low coverage under it. So you can see if that helps you. Also take note that I don't really have any coverage under this. Just a little concealer. Looks like we have only one more thing to test and it is the lip balm. That smells so good. Also the packaging is so cute. I love the yellow and it's glittery. Ooh, I can kind of see the shimmer in it. Mm. It tastes like I'm eating cake box mix. I will say the, the tip of it, it's just like this. It's like a normal tube. It's not like it has that flat edge, so it's easy to spread around the lip balm. I feel like I should just use my finger to spread out the lip balm. What I mean by this is like, here an example, this lip gloss that my dog chewed. It has this flat tip. So you can kind of spread around the lip balm or lip gloss. So that would be helpful, but I guess the last thing to do, put on the perfume. It's called Glossier U. It's hard to squeeze this bottle. How do I make this work? A few moments later. Oh, got it. Technically, I think, yeah, this is like a universal solve. So I probably could like put this on my cheeks and use it as a highlighter. So you can do much more than just put this on your lips. Should I try putting it on my cheek? I feel like I already have a glow right now, just naturally because, you know, it's hot outside. So, you know what? I need some spray. That feels so much better. Honestly, this stuff is so great in the summer or any time, actually. I feel like I just need to blend it after I spray that stuff, though. Okay, that is it for this video. This is how the makeup turned out. Very natural and simple. 
and it's also very light because of how hot it is in the summer. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a like and I'll see you in my next one.